بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو اینڈ ویلکم ٹو ڈاکٹر ثاقب خان سائنس اکیڈمی ٹوڈے وی ول لرن اباؤٹ ایلوویچ ایڈزاپشن ماڈل دی ایلوویچ ایڈزاپشن ماڈل دا ایزمشن دا بیسک انزم ایزمشن از ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ دی کیمیز اپشن نیچر اف دی ایڈزاپشن سو ایلوویچ ایڈزاپشن ماڈل از اپلائیڈ وی وانٹ ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ دی کیموز اپشن نیچر اف دی ایڈزاپشن اینڈ دس ماڈل ہیلپس ٹو پریڈکٹ دی میس اینڈ سرفیس ڈیفیژن We can say that Elovich model is used to describe chemical adsorption and is applicable for heterogeneous surfaces. If we want to study the heterogeneous surfaces, then this model is applied. The equation for Elovich adsorption model, the linear form of this equation is Qt is equal to 1 over beta ln alpha beta plus 1 over beta ln t. This is simple linear equation y is equal to mx plus c. in which alpha is primary rate of adsorption while beta is desorption constant during each experiment so from this equation we will calculate the L, the value of alpha and beta our slope will be 1 over beta while our intercept is 1 over beta ln alpha ln alpha beta this will be our intercept the x value ln t shall be plotted against qt value qt is adsorption capacity at time i have calculated the adsorption capacity at time in my previous videos where i calculated the pfo model in pfo model i calculated qt and qe the formula for calculating qt is equal to c not minus ct multiplied by volume divided by mass or w so this is our qt value we can go to my previous video which i made on pseudo first order kinetic model and i have explained this in detail over here i have just put the formula to calculate qt so we run the experiment for 10 to 120 minute our initial concentration was 30 mg per liter or 30 ppm while we calculated the ct value at different time interval from 10 to 120 minutes with 10 minutes interval each according to formula our x axis will be ln t so we will calculate ln t first and then we will calculate the y value qt value so for calculating ln t we will take ln of the time value ln of this so this is our ln t value now we will calculate now we will put the formula for qt is equal to initial concentration minus final concentration multiplied by volume divided by mass as in our case i already told that our mass and volume was same so we can just put multiplied it with 1 or we can just only do c not minus ct that will give us qt value so this is our q t value in the formula this b11 these values shall be used throughout the formula so we will log these values by putting dollar sign before and after and then double click this one the formula will be copied so over here we will plot ln t versus qt go to the insert in the charts select the scattered one and this is our now we will make a trend line linear trend line of this and display the equation and r square value because from these from this equation we will calculate the slope and intercept so our slope over here is 6.6.5976 while our intercept is minus 14.347 so according to the formula our slope is equal to 1 over beta while beta will be equal to 1 over slope so this will be equal to is equal to 
वन डिवाइडेड बाई दी स्लोप वैल्यू ओके नो फ्रॉम द इंटरसेप्ट वी नो दैट फ्रॉम द इक्वेशन वी नो दैट इंटरसेप्ट इज इक्वल टू वन ओवर बीटा लॉन एल्फा बीटा और इंटरसेप्ट इज इक्वल टू वन ओवर बीटा लॉन एल्फा बीटा इफ दिस बीटा वैल्यू कम्स ओवर हेयर विद द इंटरसेप्ट सो दिस विल बी इक्वल टू इंटरसेप्ट इन टू बीटा इज इक्वल टू लॉन एल्फा बीटा then this equation we can manipulate this equation and intercept into beta will be equal to ln alpha plus ln beta as we ha already have beta value so it will be equal to ln alpha plus ln beta and then our ln alpha will be equal to intercept into beta minus ln beta so our first we will calculate the ln beta value our ln beta will be equal to ln of beta value while our intercept multiplied by beta our intercept multiplied by beta value will be equal to we will multiply intercept into beta so this will be equal to intercept multiplied by the value of beta so this is ln alpha uh, sorry this is intercept into beta while our ln alpha is equal to intercept into beta this will be equal to intercept into beta minus ln beta so this is the value of ln alpha our alpha will be equal to exponent of the ln alpha value this will give you the alpha value so our alpha value is 0.749 alpha value is 0.749 while our beta value is 0.15 as i told you that alpha is the rate alpha is the initial rate or primary rate of adsorption according to elvich model and while our beta value is the desorption constant so from here we calculated the primary rate of adsorption and while our r square value is 0.9367 so our r square value is 0.9367 we use the data which we already applied for langmuir adsorption model for fenbridge for dr and thumken isotherm isotherm model so the same data we have used over here for langmuir model fenlich model dr model and thumken model you can see my previous videos i'll give the link in the description this is all about elvich adsorption model hopefully now you understand how to fit your data in loh adsorption model if you got some information from here please like the video subscribe to my channel and share this video with other other colleagues your like and subscription will motivate me to create more informative videos like this thank you very much and allah hafiz